Alright, we're back in Mega Man X4. So, who we got today, and what are they doing? Why, it's Frost Walrus. Alright, what's your crime? Well, you see, Frost Walrus... He protects the secret weapon which lies hidden in the s- uh, uh, your... Yeah, Frost Walrus, you're, you're blocking your, your description. Oh, whatever. Anyway, Frost Walrus stage. We start right off to see that he is frozen Blizzard Buffalo in the background, thus proving himself the superior ice boss. Uh, though I will say, um, I think I like Blizzard Buffalo's stage aesthetic a little more, but I gotta say, Frost Walrus has a really hauntingly beautiful one. Uh, which of course gets ruined a little by the fact that you're going to be jumping a lot in the stage, which means you get to hear Zero go, Ha! Yeah! 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 A whole bunch. In fact, I'm sad this isn't actually one of my earlier takes where uh, I didn't quite get that initial um, uh, invisible block segment, the, the Yoku block segment down uh, in time, so it's just huddled in the wall jumping constantly, which meant Zero was going, Yeah! 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 Uh, we will miss you. Oh, another ice sculpture goes by. So yeah, uh, this, no, this in a lot of ways feels like it is a follow-up to X3's ice stage. In that there's a lot of slip sliding, uh, but it actually feels like it's a proper focus this time. Uh, there's a lot more of it, and, well, as you can see here from this floor, it is just as much in the way in weird ways as it was in X3. But, uh, yeah, other than that, we got some okay tough enemies, uh, some, uh, decent platforming. I will also say, love the foreground, uh, snow. I didn't really notice it much while recording, but I do love the way that it is, uh, differing in its speeds. Sometimes it's slow, sometimes it's fast. That's neat. We've also got Chill Penguin in the background. Look, you're not going to impress me by taking down Chill Penguin. He wasn't that hard. So the mini-boss, however, harder than Chill Penguin. Uh, of course, he does not like to be weak. He will have his ice hand closed around his weak point a lot. Otherwise, he'll float around, and eventually those stalactites will fall. There we go. Not exactly patterned in the way they fall, huh? So yeah, a little difficult to predict, and this is a rather large enemy, so... He's kind of just all over the place. A little slow, which helps, but yeah, still, size is an advantage. We've also got a second phase on this guy, though we don't really see much of that as Zero, uh, because Zero kills him very quickly. Once the, the ice hand is down, it just sort of dies immediately. X, on the other hand, has to actually try against that one. Okay, so second half of the stage, we've got a whole lot of ice blocks. So, uh, I definitely like the first part of the stage more. Uh, I just think it looks more interesting. Generally plays a little more interesting as well. This is mostly just one of those, hey, you want to destroy the right ice block so that you either don't die in a pit or find the cool item. Or, you know, also don't get hit by that, uh, mine that's hidden in the ice blocks. That also helps. So, of course, we definitely have a new item here. So, let's see... Oh, yep, there it is. So, that's a W tank up there, which, in theory, is very cool because it means you can store weapon energy in order to refill it later. So, you know, just like the E tank, but with weapon energy. Here's one problem. It's useless for Zero, who doesn't use weapon energy, and it's actually gonna be pretty useless for X. Not soon, but like, it's Mega Man X, so even if it's not soon, it's still gonna happen pretty quickly. So not the best game to introduce that in. Uh, the gimmick in the back half is these birds, which... Uh, I destroyed a little too soon, but I'm pretty sure I let one of them live, right? Pretty sure one of them survives, that we can actually see what they do. Because it's actually a very cool effect. Literally. It freezes everything on screen. God, that's so good. 
Uh, it even freezes the enemies, though do be careful because the enemies can explode into ice shards. Also, I do- yeah, it only freezes like part of the stage, not the whole thing. So you have that little effect where like you can see where the ice ends, it's so good. Uh, yeah, so I still like the back half. Again, I love the aesthetic of the first half and I like the platforming more, but uh, it, the second section isn't too bad either. The back half of the second section's better. Part 2 of Part 2. The last quarter is really good. <laughs> What's that blonde kid up to? I don't have time for you, Junior. Fuck you! Hey! Why did you insult me for insulting you? I'm gonna cut your ass! Hey, so, uh, remember Mega Man 8 how they had a really big ice boss? Uh, but it was actually incredibly easy. So say hello to Frost Walrus, he's the same thing. Uh, he's a very easy boss. Uh, very large. Definitely communicates his attacks very well. Very slow. And honestly, not only is he easy to read, but it's very easy to dodge his attacks too. This is the hard one. Uh, but for Zero it's nothing because... You don't need to destroy these things in the air to make them uh, disappear easily. You can also just stab them on the ground, and Frost Wallers keeps trying to do it, and he died for it. That was not an effective strategy. You should have tried to slide again. Not that there would have been any ground hazards, because I can stab them, but still. Anyway, I assume you're the weapon in the background. Uh, you take care of yourself. Quit being active. Bye. Alright, so let's see, this one is down SM button wall. Oh yeah, this is one I don't really use too often, because it's a little bit awkward for me. I don't usually think to uh, do a dive attack, as it were. Uh, meanwhile, X gets Frost Tower, which is also not something we're going to see very often, because it also feels kind of awkward to use. Not in terms of actual execution, that's the same as anything else, but yeah, just in terms of actually utilizing it. I just don't care for it much. Anyway, let's save the old game. And with that, looks like that boss's size came to frostbite him in the ass. And with that, uh, that's just it for the ma Maverick for the day. I don't really have much else to say. Next time we fight a different Maverick, that's kind of how these games go. In case you didn't notice the pattern thus far.